Hello class, how's your day? I hope you are doing great. It's me again, Sir Noel, as your virtual teacher to clarify the lessons we have in business mathematics for the second quarter. The week 7 topic is all about analyzing and interpreting business data. We will analyze and interpret sets of data presented in tables or graphs for this lesson. Let us have this example. The pie chart shows the gross earnings of an employee during a particular month. Suppose his basic salary is 14,250 pesos. How much is his gross earnings? How much is his overtime pay? His night shift differential? His premium pay? Determine the following deductions, SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-ibig. Construct a pie chart for the employee's gross earnings using the net earnings and the total deductions as the component of the pie. Let us now compute for each item. To get the gross earnings, we will divide the basic pay by 75%. The gross earnings is 19,000 pesos. Since we already computed the gross earnings, we can compute now for the other pay. To compute the overtime pay, multiply the gross earnings by 12%. We have 2,280 pesos. To compute the night shift differential, multiply the gross earnings by 8%. We have 1,520 pesos. To compute the premium pay, multiply the gross earnings by 5%. We have 950 pesos. Let us now proceed to the deductions. Here, we will be using the SSS and PhilHealth table for the year 2021. For SSS, the amount of contribution is based on the table released and updated by SSS. Here is the latest table of SSS. All you have to do is locate on what row the gross salary of the employee belongs to in the range and compensation column and determine the corresponding amount in the contribution or in the total contribution which is the EE share column. Since the basic pay is 14,250 pesos, locate which row of that gross salary of the employee belongs to in the range and compensation and see how much is the total contribution or the EE share column. The value is 652.50 cents. For PhilHealth, we also need to check the table released by PhilHealth. Note, employee and employer share with the payment of contribution would be 50-50, meaning 50% for the employee, 50% for the employer. Here is the latest table released by PhilHealth. Multiply the basic pay by 3.5% or 0 0.035. The formula is 14,250 which is the basic pay times 0 0.035 divided by 2 since it is a 50-50 contribution. Then click enter. The PhilHealth premium is 249 pesos and 38 cents. Pag-ibig has a fixed premium of 100 pesos. To construct the pie chart for the employee's gross earnings using the net earnings and the total deductions as the components of the pie, we'll be using the data we computed. For the net earnings, gross earnings minus the total deductions. For the total deductions, we will compute the sum of all deductions. Now. Highlight the net earnings and total deductions cell, including their value, and then click Insert. Then, 
chart. Excel will generate the graph that you can paste anywhere from your file or other files. You can change the style of the generated graph from the options above. That's it! I hope this video lesson had helped you in analyzing and answering your modified assessment. Happy learning!